Shalom. Before I begin this lesson, I'm going to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Rekha Kodash. I'm going to give double honors to our apostles and elders, Grim Muslim, and Arewell, and peace, blessings, salutations to the hopeful that scattered abroad. Um, it's, uh, it's the brother you want to coming with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Lord's will in this video is edifying. And I want to bring out this precept. This is Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. And and who is he talking about? You know, the Most High, Yahweh. You know, without faith, Salak, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, You know, without faith, it's impossible to please the Most High, man. Because this great thing of ours, man, you got to have faith, man. You know, going back into, um, going back. You know, looking at the generations of old, man, you know, um, matter of fact, let's get it. You know, this is, um, this is, um, Ecclesiasticus or Sirach, chapter 2, verse 10, and it reads, Look at the generations of old and see, did ever, did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded? Or did any abide in fear and was forsaken? Or whom did he ever despise that called upon us? You know, that's right, man. So, again, you know, without, you know, without faith, it is, it is impossible to please the Most High. You how about Shem Yah Shah, man? So, you know, with me saying that is we got to look at the generations of old, man. You know, because in this great thing, this great, you know, thing of ours, we have to have faith, you know, especially in these times more than ever. I'm going to keep reading for that. For, Slaka, for he that cometh to the Most High must believe that he is. And that's right. You know, when you coming into this truth, you got to have, you know, you got to, you know, be sure. And if you're going to be sure, you know, you got to have faith. You got to have faith that Yahweh Bashim Yahshah are the true names. You got to have faith that Yahweh Bashim Yahshah is going to deliver you in the times to come. You got to have faith that Yahweh Bashim Yahshah is going to deliver you, man. When the nuclear missiles come down to destroy Babylon the Great, man. And it says that in that he is a rewarder of them that uh, dil diligently seek him. And that's right, man. You know, first and foremost with the spirit, you know, the spirit that's been, you know, dwelling among, you know, the, the, the servants of Yahweh Bashim Yahshah. But it says that uh, he he is a rewarder of them that dig uh, dig you know, Salak, it's hard for me to pronounce this word, did, did diligently seek him. So, again, you got to have faith in this great thing of ours, man. You got to have faith, man, because why? It's, it is it is impossible to please the Most High without faith, man. And that's why I brought out that Sirach or Ecclesiasticus, chapter 2, verse 10. You know, looking at the generations of old, man, the Lord already, you know, mapped it out, you know, for us to see. You know, you got to think about, you know, Shadrach, um, Salak, uh, Shadrach, um, you know, the three, Salak, I always forget the three, you know, Abednego, Shadrach, and Meshach, Shadrach, Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego, Salak, if I said the words, um, the, you know, the, you know, the men names wrong, but you got to think about them brothers. That's why I say, look at the generations of old, man, or, um. You know, when, um, well, going back to them, you got to look at them, man. You know, you got to have faith. You know, they went right into the furnace, you know, knowing that they were going to be delivered by the most high, man. You know, you know, and that's that. That's uh, that's a strong thing, man. You got to look at um, Peter, man, when they, you know, when they was about to feed him to the lions, man. You got to have faith, man. You know, and that's why, again. You know, the Lord has it mapped out for us, you know, with these scriptures, you know, he already has it mapped out, you know, that, you know, what to do and what not to do. And, you know, when and um, the brother Remnant Save made a video, you know, incredulity will rise. But, you know, we shouldn't even be thinking about that because we know, you know, having faith, you know, you how about Shah and all the things of the book are true. 
But with that incredulity, you know, that word is, you know, not not having faith, being unfaithful, you know, having, you know, second thoughts, man. You know, and and that's when you see things are starting to happen to you, you know, because you're you're drawn back. And what does the Lord say? You know, if a man draws back, you know, uh, roughly paraphrasing, you know, with the plow, then uh, I got to get that scripture. But um, let's get let's get um the next let's get uh this is first corinthians chapter 2 verse 5 that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men but be shall lock your butt in the power of the most high again you know you're not supposed to put your faith in man you know you're not supposed to put your faith you know when i say men you know we're talking about you know men with wrong doctrine men of the world but, you know, you know, ultimately you're supposed to put your faith in your how about your outside. But again, you know, you know, the servants of the Lord, the prophets, you know, you know, you got to, you know, not put your faith in them, but trust in them that they're telling you the right things. Because why? The Lord revealed his secrets until, you know, his servants, the prophets, man. Um, let me get this. Um, this is uh, Second Corinthians chapter five, verse seven. For we walk by faith and not by sight. And that's right, man. Again, faith. You know, I wanted to bring out this lesson talking about faith because, you know, you got to have faith when you're in this walk, man. A lot of people, you know, a lot of scoffers, a lot of demons will try to mess up with you. But what what is your backbone? You know, your how about Shemel Shah is your backbone, but you got to have faith. And the scripture tells you in Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1, it says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. For uh, the evidence of things not seen So you can't see faith Faith is not something that you can buy Faith is something within So again, you know, you coming into this walk You believing on the names Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah You know, that takes faith Because people in the world will do what? You know, lean to their own understanding What the scripture tells us not to You know, they will say, oh you know, his name is God. I'm going to call him God. His name is, you know, Jesus. I'm going to call him Jesus. But we know that's wrong. You know, that's what the world taught us. You know, so you got to have faith, you know, to know that, you know, those names are wrong. And you got to have faith to know that, you know, the things that we were taught in the world are wrong. When you come in this truth, you got to unlearn and relearn the right things, man. By what? The sincere, you know, milk of the word. Going back to uh Peter's. But um, um, let's get Proverbs chapter three and verse five. It says, trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not to thy own understanding. In all thy uh, verse six in all thy ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths, man. You know, but you got to have faith, though, man. That's why the scripture says that we walk by faith, not by sight, because we know, you know, how about Shem Yashah is ultimately you know, you know, this is his movie, you know, we're just playing our roles. But again, you know, I wanted to bring out this lesson, you know, about faith, man, because, um, you know, a lot of people, you know, say they have faith, but, you know, faith is something, you know, faith is a, um, faith is a verb, meaning that, you know, you got to take action. There's action required by that word faith, man. And the scripture tells us that, man. You know, it's, you know, it's great faith by you, you know, going out on the highways and byways and standing tall for your how about you, You know, it's great faith, you know, by faith that you, you bring in our daily edification, man. It's faith that you're praying to your how about you, all of this is faith, man. So it's a strong thing to have faith because what? You know, uh, the scripture says, you know, when Yahweh Shah, son of man, makes sure he's returning, he said, Shah, he fought faith on the, uh, you know, let's get this. Let's get that. Um, look for that right quick. Okay. Uh, Shalaki, give me one second. All right, this is um this is Luke chapter 18 verse 8. I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the son of man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth? Man, and this is, you know, that's the question because a lot of people, 
don't have, you know, a lot of people are faithless, man. They're, you know, they don't have no faith, man. And what does the scripture say, man? The scripture says that they shall die in their unfaithfulness. We're going to get that. But you got to have faith. That's why, you know, you, you know, that's why it says when Yahweh Shah makes his great returning, shall he find, shall he find faith on the earth? Because a lot of people don't have faith. You know, they don't have faith. They rather just, you know, when things get hard, you know, they they, they buckle, man. You got to have a backbone. And what is the backbone? You know, these scriptures, man. All right. So this is James chapter two. Again, I'm going back into that word faith is a verb, meaning that you got to take action behind, you know, you having faith, man. You can't say you have faith and you're not doing anything behind it. You got to have faith. I mean, you got to have action behind these words that you're saying. So this is James chapter two, verse 14. And it says, what doth it profit, my brethren, though a man say he have faith? and not have works can faith save him so we're saying can faith save you you got to do works man again you got to do the work man but again it's all about having faith man it's it's a great you know you going out on the highways and byways you believing in your how about your mouth shy you know you doing the work you know that's having great faith man a lot of people in the world won't do this man why because they don't have no faith they're faithless Oh, I'm going to jump down to <clears throat> verse 17. It says, even so faith, if it have not works, is dead being alone. So if you say you have faith out their mouth, but you're not doing no works, it's dead. There's nothing. Because again, faith is a verb. You have to take action behind those words that you're saying. Um, Going to verse 18, it says, yeah, a man may say that has faith and I have works. Show, show me thy faith without thy works and i will show you shalaki and i will show thee my faith by my works man and that's powerful because again people in the world say they have faith you know i trust in god you know i, I trust in jesus but they're not doing anything they still committing sins they still doing folly they still doing the things back then you know they're still doing you know still cleaving on to the pleasures of this earth you know but again you know, you, you know, that's just lip service, man. Scripture says that, um, show me thy faith without thy works and I'll show thee my faith by my words. So the things that you doing in this walk is, you know, it, it shows why by, by your faith, man. You going out on the highways and byways, you making daily edification videos, you studying, you know, reading the scriptures. That's all faith, man. Because again, a lot of people in this world don't have no faith in your how about Shah, you know, and um, let's get uh, let's get this next precept. Um, uh, let's get this next precept. Give me one second. Now, this is um, second address. This is uh second Edris chapter 15 and I'm going to start at verse 4 and it says for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness man and that's right you know a lot of you know two thirds you two thirds are going to die man because you ain't have no faith in your Bashim Yasha you know the Lord you know bringing out his prop the prophets are back man and the Lord you know having them out on the highways and byways on YouTube you know, bringing out daily edifications day in and day, you know, day in and day, uh, day in and, you know, all day and night, man. But what? You're not, you know, you're not cleaving on to that. You're not believing because you have no faith in your how about shim yow shah. So what? The scripture says all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness, man. So, you know, again, I'm bringing out this lesson, you know, because, you know, in this great walk of ours, man, you got to have faith, man. You got to have faith that... You know, your how about Shim Yasha is gonna deliver you. You gotta have faith that these are the true names, man. And when you and, and, and what again, you know, faith is a verb. You gotta have action behind those words that you're saying, man. So you know, Lord's willing, this video is edifying. I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to you, how will Bahashem, you how will Shah Bahashem, Krakadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders, your great Muslims, and everyone well. And peace, blessings, and salutations to the hopeful, let's scatter abroad. Till next time, Shalom and the Bar Gabar.